Okay, well, there is absolutely so much to talk about. Um, tons of events in the news as of late. Um, I'm just really lagging behind here, but I'm going to start this video off with the word Lincoln adds up to 34. So this whole video is going to be about Abraham Lincoln and basically how it ties into the number 58 in this and my thoughts, I guess, on this film. So when this movie came out, I wondered why. I was like, why would this movie just come out in the in 2012? Like Abraham Lincoln died in 1865, and like they just they're just now making like a a big movie on him. It seems kind of weird. And there have been other movies about him, you know, but nothing nothing big like this movie. This movie was like a a big movie, you know, like in the theater. It wasn't just some like short documentary or whatever. So. Anyway, I thought I'd take a look at this movie. I thought maybe, you know, since Abraham Lincoln died four years and three days after the Civil War began, I thought maybe, um, maybe if they're going to assassinate Obama, it would be four years and three days after this movie, or three years and four days after this movie, or something like that. So anyway, I just typed in uh, some dates here. So it says United States, November 9th, 2012 is when it was released. Originally, it was released on October 8th uh, at the New York Film Festival, but we'll just start with November 9th. For one, November 9th is, there's 52 days left until the end of the year, so 52. It's also the 313th day of the year, kind of like the day Pope Francis became the Pope, 313. However, in 2012, uh, since it's a leap year, it's the 314th day of the year. So kind of like pie, um, but there's also, it's still 52 days left. But anyway, I went, I just typed in the three years and four days afterward, and it comes to 11-13-2015. Interesting, I thought, because it's exactly 157 weeks. And uh, in Gematria, 157 is 104 and 239. And this actually comes up again in the next video I'm going to make about the Nebraska Cornhusker game that was uh, last night, because it's a significant number. But anyway, ooh, hold on, I wanted to type in the four years and three, so it would be four, twelve, let's see here. This will be four years and three days after this movie came out. It's 11-12 of 2016, where there's... 49 days left until the end of the year. That's the last day of Back to the Future. Um, or that's when he leaves 1955 or whatever is November 12th. And that also means that it would be 69 days before the new president would begin the presidency. And I, I've just been talking about 69 and the number 139 a whole bunch and how they all connect and whatnot. So, um, not going to re explain it, but pretty interesting. So then I just typed in to Pope the day Pope Francis became the Pope uh, from when this movie came out, and it's 124 days, or also four months and four days. Found that pretty interesting. I've talked a lot about um, Obama being the 44th president, uh, like the World Trade Centers began being built on 44. The first president of the United States to be to die in office died on 44. Tons of 44 stuff. But the word Abraham even adds up to 44. So then I just kind of typed in some random stuff. I was like, I wonder what it would be to, like, uh, Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Three months, three days. Interesting. So three months, three days to his birthday. Four months, four days to uh, the day that Pope Francis became the Pope. Five months and five days to the day that Abraham Lincoln was shot. Interestingly enough... The day that he died was on April 15th, 157 days before that. So there we go, we got the 157 again. And I guess while I'm on it here, I just wanted to point out here, so we've been seeing the number 144 a ton of times, and 122 just a ton, of, a ton this year. Well, Abraham Lincoln, if you break these up in dates, Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12th, the... I can't even think. The 43rd day of the year, so 12-2, kind of like 122. He was shot on 14-4, kind of like 144. I mean, just pretty interesting. So I guess also, 
what I want to talk about here, this movie, it came out in 2012, kind of like his birthday, 2, if you take out the 0, 2, 12. And so in 2012, then, when this movie came out, he was 203 years old, 8 months, 28 days. So the mirror there, but 203, even has the 74, and then a 415, doesn't have to mean much. Um, but just pointing that out there, he's 200, he would have been 203 years old. And in these Nebraska Cornhusker games, I keep seeing the number 12 and 21. They're, they're really focused on 12 and 21, other than the 34. All these, the big plays in this game, or like big drives that they've been making, all about 12 and 21. And I remember we always talked about 12 was the 37th prime, and, uh, 73 is the 21st, the mirrors of each other. But go to the 203rd prime, it is 1237. Kind of like, I mean, 12 and then it's prime of 37. Interesting. So, who knows, I just typed in 1237, Gematria, 1237. Hit 252. Kind of like 99 is the 252nd day. Tons of stuff with it, the mirrors of 52. We've been talking about 52 like crazy, so... Just found that interesting as well. And actually that number would be 1,237. Look at the gematria of that. 433, which is also the 84th prime. I've mentioned this multiple times with uh, Barack Obama. Uh, he was born on 8 forward, and whatnot. What is that? Alright, so I'm going to leave that in there. That was some crazy stuff. My iTunes just started playing for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Who knows this? Timba Pitbull featuring Keisha. Huh. I'll have to look into that later. But, uh, 1,237, so 433. It's also the 433rd year this year on 10-4 that we started using the Gregorian calendar. Um, so interesting. Also, the word 73 adds up to 58. Um, also in Pythagorean Gematria. This number right here adds up to 154. If you do that as a date, that is the day that Abraham Lincoln died, 15-4. So I guess I also took the day that movie came out, and I, I added 313 days to it, and it takes you to um, this, 918 or 18-9. And it's 10 months, 9 days. And I talked about how I've been seeing the number uh, 109 a whole bunch lately. It was even, I got that speeding ticket on uh, September 10th or whatever, 9-10. So who knows, I'm telling you, for something's showing me these, something is showing me numbers, just like my iTunes thing, I bet you anything, there's something to do with that. That's why I kept it on here. Um, I don't care if anyone says I'm crazy, it happens to me all the time. And I guess while I'm just typing in dates here, another thing I wanted to show was, so Abe Lincoln died on 4-15, and if you go to 923 that we've been talking about like crazy this year, the 266th day and the 266th Pope will be in the United States. Not only is it 161 days, it's also 5 months and 8 days, so a 58. But if you add 161 up in Gematria, 161, it's 95, so a number that they code around black people and also killing. And also 239, just like 923. Anyway, so this movie, it also says this movie came out on October 8th, 2012 at the New York Film Festival, but then it wasn't completely released until November 9th. So I took that day and I went to Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Four months, four days. Interesting. And then I went to the day Pope Francis became the Pope. Five months, five days. Then I went to the day that Abe Lincoln died, 189, and I just talked about the 313 days after the 11-9 was uh, 9-18 or whatever, or 18-9. So who knows? Um, maybe a significant day. Um, but anyway, I want to point out some of the 58s in this movie. I mean, it was, a, it was crazy with 58s. And also, so yeah, like, Lincoln was born on 212. The movie came out in 2012. And you read down here, and uh, the film was nominated for seven Golden Globe Awards, blah, blah, blah. 
At the 85th Academy Awards, the film was nominated for 12 Academy Awards, uh, including Best Picture. It won for Best Production Design and Best Actor. So that means it was nominated for 12 awards, and it only won two, two twelve or 12-2, at the 85th Academy Awards. And the guy who played Abraham Lincoln is Daniel Day-Lewis. Okay, sorry, my internet just turned off, but, um, <laughs> no reason at all. It's just strange, but, uh, anyway, this guy was 58 years old. He, or he's 58 years old this year. But you scroll down farther yet, and it says that Liam Neeson was cast as Lincoln in January 2005, having previously worked on Schindler's List, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> However, in 2012, Neeson left the project, saying that he had grown too old for the part. Neeson was 58 at the time, and Lincoln, during the time period depicted, was 55 and 56. So, I mean, why would they even write that in here, for one? And then he, he was 58 when he decided to not be Abe Lincoln? Liam Neeson, crazy. And of course, you know, he was born in 52. He's even in the movie The Grey. We've talked a ton about Grey references this year. Um, I think that even involves wolves. I have never watched this movie, but I think I should watch it. Yeah, Grey Wolves or whatever, which is all about Lupercalia. He's even in Batman Begins, where at the very end with the train wreck or whatever. So, I mean, this dude is probably... There's got to be so much more to it. Um, just haven't even looked into it. Um, I've never even watched this movie all the way through either, so <laughs> need to do that maybe. I just it was so boring I fell asleep, but uh I just didn't like this movie at all. Anyway, um another thing I forgot to point out was the movie actually premiered then on October eighth, two thousand thirteen. And I just took like the day of Abe Lincoln's death to October eighth, and it's hundred and seventy six days. And this number is uh, surrounded with like the back, back to the future adds up to 176. The, the Queen Elizabeth became the Queen 176 years after 1776. Uh, a ton more stuff, but, uh, I just wanted to compare it to Back to the Future. So, um, so in the first movie, Marty is the one who, uh, goes back in time. And that was in 1985, October 26th, 1985. But in the second movie, uh, they go to 2015, and Biff is the one who steals the um, the Grays Sports Almanac and goes back to 1955 uh, and changes 1985 or whatever, basically. So Marty changes the the future in the first one, and Biff changes it in the second one, and Doc Brown changes it in the third one. So, I mean, I'm not really quite sure what it all means, but uh, it just seems weird. You know, the Marty stuff is done. They showed all the 88s last year, whatever. And then the, the 85 stuff with uh, Biff. Biff was surrounded with the 58, 85. I've showed that in a previous video. And then he, whatever. And then in the third one, it's all about Doc Brown, but... The second and the third one are kind of, uh, sort of connected, because in part one, they, they solve it, and then they go, uh, Doc comes and says they gotta save the kids, or his, Marty's kids, so, they go, but they never finish it, it kinda continues on to part three, so, I feel like it's just a continuation of part two, instead of like a, a next part of the movie. But anyway, let's just check out the gematria of some of this stuff here, so, Back to the Future, like I said, is 176. Back to the Future 2, 194. And that's interesting because the day Abe Lincoln died to the day that Back to the Future uh, began or whatever, 1026, is 194 days. And then Part 3 is 203 that I just talked about with the, the 203rd Prime is 1237. And then Emmett Brown's real name, Emmett Lathop Brown, adds to 85 even. In part two, he even asks himself in 1955 for the five-eighths wrench. And then he says, don't you mean three and a quarter? Like three, four, and five-eight. And I actually forgot about this movie that came out the same year, uh, Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Uh, so I guess, I don't know, I got a lot more to check out, but I got some other videos, um, some other interesting facts about Abe Lincoln, and then the Lincoln, the Nebraska game coming up. Um, so hopefully I'll get them out tonight. I actually have time. So anyway, have a good night.